result that any strategy should be used and not subject to it. Finding a job is really competitive. Speaking English fluently is one of their criteria. So now you can speak English fluently. We must apply it to all subjects in school so that we can speak good English. Research from all over the world shows that cross-border business communication is most often conducted in English, and many international companies expect employees to be fluent in English. How about the other people who don't understand English? What can they communicate with if they don't have if they, if they don't understand? I bet they have points. So maybe they can use Google Translate. Or maybe they watch something from you that connects with English language. What if? The, the English words are not precise with the meaning of the word they are trying to find. Then they can buy a dictionary and read some books so that they can understand some words. In countries where English is not their first language, many parents consider them speaking their mother tongue because if they do not, if they do not speak, if they do not speak their mother tongue, then how are how are the people who live in the continent? supposed to understand. Though English is a worldwide language, we, we, would, we would often use it as a secondary language. What country are you in right now? I am in Indonesia. What language are you speaking right now? I am speaking English. Where are you right now? St. John's High School. Your conversation says that you do not agree that English should be used in all subjects in school, right? Then why are you speaking English in this Indonesian school if you don't if you do not agree with her with our proposition? Well I am speaking English because this school also contains a language called English. But there are some languages which contain other languages such as Basin and Asia and Mandarin. Speaking English allows you to actually burden your work your world from job opportunities to to the ability to relate to people from every country. Speaking English gives you access to a world of entertainment. It allows you to communicate with new people. You see, it allows us to communicate with other people. But what if the people do not know English and he just knows our mother tongue? Well, we need to learn English because if they go to other countries, we need to communicate with them and they don't understand our mother tongue. What if they do not understand English either? Well, that's why I'm saying we need to learn it, because it's really important. Indonesia's society, politics, politics and economy are robust and healthy, and the world's largest island country is ready to make a remarkable role in the affairs in the region and around the globe. This means that learning the Indonesian language or Bahasa Indonesia is gaining importance as well. Are you sure they will understand the Indonesian language? If they understand English, they can understand Indonesia, the Indonesian language as easily as well. How? If we communicate with, it, with them, we can teach them to learn the Indonesian language. We need to speak English because English is used in most countries. Even our present speak English. And we can also make English a better language. My opponent does not realize the importance of other languages, such as Mandarin, German, Spanish, Japanese, Korean, and most importantly, our mother tongue, Indonesian. Meaning they do not respect the mother language of these countries and more. Therefore, English should not be used in all subjects.